All right, today we're gonna to show you guys how to make the South Beach Mint Chip Roshi. We're gonna start off with two to three layers of the flat white Angelus paint. And of course, that's after you prep your shoe. Got some new sponsors here that you guys will be able to purchase soon that spread the paint pretty evenly. Um, so after that, you're gonna go ahead and move into detailing with the white. Or I'm sorry, you're gonna go ahead and dry. In between layers, drying is pretty good. So I think that you should do that every one, two layers, just if you wanna speed things up. Um, right here, you're gonna go ahead and uh, detail it with a smaller brush. Make sure you're covering all the black everywhere. Then we'll move on to our layers of the Tahitian, neon Tahitian pink. You can do about two layers of that. You'll also need to dry in between layers for that one because um, it takes a while to dry. Uh, after that, we'll move on to the sunset yellow. Now, the sunset yellow only goes on really after we've done this tape in here. This is called like baby stenciling. So you're just gonna cut up some of the tape with an exacto knife and make some shapes on the back of the shoe. Some diamonds, some squares, some connections, no connections. Just really whatever you wanna make. This is kind of like a freestyle for you to do. You don't have to make it exactly the way I do. Um, here we go ahead and put on the sunset yellow. And that's not gonna be as a layer. It's just gonna be kind of tracing the lines so that there's gonna be pink underneath and then there's gonna be like a kind of a shot of the yellow. Uh, go back in there with the Tahitian pink and do some small detailing covering up all the black or the white with that also. And then also you're going to do that with uh, do that with the orange as well. Kind of make it a little bit brighter. That'll give you more layers, more layers to work with there. And after you've done uh, this step, you can go ahead and move on to the gift box blue. And the gift box blue is the color that uh, everybody loves the most here. So you can be, you don't have to be sparing on this one. Um, with this, I usually just line all the uh, stencil lines and maybe some of the corners. So you can start with one of the corners and move it out a little bit, you know, bounce it out to so where you're not making a hard line, you're just kind of moving out like a fade. Um, do that on both sides. And like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly like this, you can just do it anywhere if it's a good freestyle. Um, so you're going to move that around, trace the lines. Um, I do that sometimes, and they're all different every time. So once you do that on the full shoes there, you can do about two to three layers of the gift box glue so that it pops even more. And trace again, trace the lines here. Let it fade out a little, gives, a, gives you a chance to see all three colors working together. After that, you're gonna go ahead and uh, take off your tape, off top and bottom, because you really don't need it anymore. Just be careful when you're painting. Um, and you'll see that the, the lines aren't clean uh, they never really are because the Roshi is very porous, so you don't really have clean lines, and this is where it comes, so you have to be really detailed and go in there and sh sharpen up the lines, and that's what I'm doing with all colors. I usually sharpen it with the gift box blue because it's the color that pops the most. So go ahead and uh, sharpen up all your lines there. This takes some time. You might have to go over this about two or three times just to make sure that you get uh, the right color that you want to see. But you can see there's already a fade going on with all of the the colors there which is nice um, so you're gonna do that on both shoes make sure that you get rid of all the uh, black that's showing and just just making lines really making basic tribal looking stuff and then next we're gonna go ahead and do the sole now you can go ahead and use the deglazer and uh, before you put on the paint it kind of makes the, the bottom the sole a little bit more porous and make the paint stick more and you saw what I was doing there I was kind of making blobs of the paint and then blowing it in different directions because it gives it like a really cool look and I'm going to do that the same with the black. So you're going to first start off with the gift box blue and then you're going to move and put the black on top of it and you're just going to basically make again like freestyle dots and whatever. Then we'll move on to the swoosh and get this nice impact on there. Make sure that you, this is, you know, this is a really important part. So here you're going to go ahead and mask it off and then you're going to get uh, an exacto knife and go ahead and cut that as I change my music. Don't ask me what I'm listening to because I won't tell you. Um, so I have this really cool exacto finger knife which is pretty dope and again that'll be available to you guys soon also. Um, I loved it. Left-handed worked for me. So go ahead and get as clean as you can around that swoosh. I know some of you aren't really clean about this but you should try to be because craftsmanship sells. So go ahead and uh, get into those small crevices there and we're gonna paint these 
swooshes are going to go ahead and be painted at least two or three times with a uh, white. Use flat white on that. Don't use a gloss. The gloss uh, won't take well with the neon paints that go on top of it. So after you take all that off, it looks like I made a mistake there. Touched the paint by mistake. So you want to be careful with that. Usually I do the swoosh first and then the sole, but for whatever reason I did it reverse this time. So taking it off, making sure that there's no uh, holes or anything that the paint's going to see through. If there is, just take your extra pieces of tape and go back in there and cover it like I'm doing there because it doesn't always come out perfect. So again, you're going to want to do two to three, two to three layers of that. I think I did four here. Make sure to get as wide as you can. And go ahead and use the, the dryer, to, the heat gun, to dry that off a bit. Those only take a good 30 seconds and they're done. And you're going to go ahead and scounce on Tahitian pink first, or you can do any other color that you want to do first. So you're just going to use three colors on this here, or four, sorry. You use the pink, the blue, and the uh, orange, or the sunset yellow, and maybe throw on some black when you're done. And that's it. Now go to the beach and lose your shoes.